Howdy, howdy, howdy. So it is Thursday and we're about ready to cook from Mom's Cookbook. So I believe we're on episode 11, if I remember correctly. And um, today we are going to do her pepper herbed steak. Now note, the cookbook met with some grease at some point. So this whole part of the recipe, I kind of had to do some forensics to try and figure out exactly what it said. So, I have typed it up and I shall share with you. So pepper herb steak. You're gonna need some steak. Now this is where my mom says chuck, but you know, this is what I had, so this is what we're making. You're gonna need garlic salt. You're gonna need oregano, or oregano, however you wanna say it, oregano. Worcestershire, I recommend. Good old Liam Perry, the best one. W sauce and pepper. So, the amount of seasoning depends on the size of the steak, but you just want enough to season. Trim the fat off the steak, not necessary because the steak is pretty lean. Rub in the garlic salt, the W sauce, and the oregano and pepper into the steak on both sides. Allow to stand at least 30 minutes or more, then back, then bake in a 350 degree oven for about 35 to 45 minutes or till it's done to your liking. I suppose you could broil this, but I've always baked it because that's how my mother did it. Now, I think the reason that this is a baked instead of a broiled is because these herbies will burn and so it's probably not in your best interest to to broil so anyways we're starting out with a couple of steaks mom said rub in the garlic salt so we're going to salt both sides We are having tropical, an arm of Tropical Storm Alberto kind of flitting through my backyard right now. So uh, if you hear Amber getting a little bit upset, that's my doggie. Um, it's because she does not like storms. I don't blame her one bit. So uh, let's see. Trim off that, rubbing garlic salt, sauce. So she, you know, when I would watch mom do this one, she would just, that's just the, that's just the oven getting the temperature. So she would, she'd be pretty liberal. But you know, one thing that's interesting, I remember W sauce being a lot more flavorful. So to me, it's kind of degraded to the point of being more um, soy sauce-ish, but you know. Anyways, whenever you're dealing with dried herbs, make sure you always crush them in your hands. This releases them. This releases the flavor and the fragrance. And we're just gonna get pepper in over here. And then we'll flip it over. And be generous, because you want this to be, you know, really, really, really flavorful. So, let's rub it all in there. I just kind of don't feel like getting beet juices all over my hands. So, flip her back. More herbies. Now, I remember mom using, this is, this is like Italian oregano, but mom would use the Mexican oregano and it would have like nice big juicy leaves that were so tasty after they've had an opportunity to bake and to be all in there. So, and you can never go wrong with pepper. Do plenty of pepper. Plenty, plenty, plenty. I have a, a pepper blend in here where I've got black and white and red and all kinds of different peppercorns in here. I just like the flavor of it. I'm gonna hit it with a little more garlic salt. Cause like I said, 
never have enough flavor in this particular recipe. So, and just a touch more W sauce. Do, 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 do. And we're gonna rub it all in. And we're gonna let it sit here for about 30 minutes. And then we're gonna chuck it in the oven and cook it. So we'll be back in a bit. Alrighty, we've been marinating for about 30 minutes and these puppies are ready to go. So I'm gonna stick them in the oven and I'll see you in about, these are kind of few steaks, so probably about 25, 30 minutes. So be right back. Let's see how they're doing. Ooh, don't those look tasty. I think we're just about done. So uh, we'll just be pulling these out in just a minute. And there you go, herb steak. It smells divine. So uh, I made some mashed potatoes to go with this. I made a little salad to go with that. And um, that's going to be my dinner tonight. So hope you enjoyed this recipe. And remember, this is not only a mom recipe, but a grandma recipe. So there you go. We'll see you all next week. And don't forget, I love you. And ta-ta for now.